Greetings. I've often said that no one understands that they're going to die. We might know it, but we don't really understand it. And I can prove that in a few seconds. Well, how can I prove that? Well, let me ask you, have you ever seriously looked into the claims that Jesus rose from the dead? Of who wrote about that, if they were valid witnesses or not? And in fact, that should be on the front page of the newspaper continually to be looking into if Jesus indeed rose from the dead. It's not even a blip on the radar. It doesn't even register with people. That's why I would say, like in my song, if I had any sense and was thinking right, and even heard about a man coming back to life after being stone cold better than a doornail, I'd check it out. And if found true, I'd be grabbing for his coattail, and I'd drop my junk on the floor and come a-pounding at the door. But we don't look for it. And even Jesus told a par uh, not a parable, it was an account of a rich man that died and went to Hades, and then a poor man, Lazarus, that died that went to paradise. In Abraham's bosom, whenever uh, the, the rich man was appealing that Abraham would send Lazarus, allow Lazarus to go back from the dead to warn his five brothers of this place of torment he found himself in. And what we're told in uh, Abraham's response, he said, uh, if they do not listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded if someone rises from the dead. And it's just because death does not compute. Why doesn't it compute? Why wouldn't this resurrection message be first, form, foremost in anybody's mind, everyone's mind? Well, we find Solomon said in Ecclesiastes, it's after chapter 3, verse 11, talking about God has given to the sons of men uh, things in which to occupy themselves, and he said he's made everything appropriate for its, in its time. He has also set eternity in their heart. God has set eternity in man's heart. Everything in us says, I'm alive, it's right that I am alive, and it's right that I stay alive. Death was imposed upon us and even upon all creation. And it's something that does not compute. We are not built to understand it. We might know we're going to die, but to understand it and grab it, we, it's like it's always somebody else or, or it's just not going to come. Now, having said that, the, one of the key elements of the Christian gospel is to drive home the point that Jesus not only died on the cross, but that he's buried and that he rose from the dead. And in fact, um, this is so central to the entire message. And I did debate, I had it as, as his resurrection, I said, is the stamp of Jesus' authority? And I said, it's another way, I said, it's a stamp. Because his miracles he was doing was a stamp of his authority, of his divinity. He was God in the flesh. Even Nicodemus knew that. But the resurrection from the dead, his own bodily resurrection, I went ahead and said in the song, it's the stamp of his authority. Jesus arose bodily. But the Achilles heel of the entire faith, the Bible itself addresses, because Paul says, look, it's in 1 Corinthians 15, if Jesus did not rise from the dead, then our preaching is vain, it's empty. And your faith also is vain, it's empty. Moreover, we are even found to be false witnesses of God because we've witnessed against God that He raised Christ, whom He did not raise, if indeed the dead are not raised. In other words, if we're saying He rose from the dead and He didn't, we're false witnesses, saying God did something He didn't do. Now He says, uh, He said that we have only hoped in Christ in this life. We are of all men most to be pitied. We've set aside pleasures of life, things for a fable, a fairy tale. But, and he also goes on later in that chapter to say, if, he, if the dead are not raised, let's eat and drink and be merry for tomorrow we die. So that's, he's exposing the Achilles heel that if this resurrection did not take place, then forget it. Go about your business. Do whatever you want to do. Because tomorrow we die just like everybody else. But this is the stamp of 
this, the message and of Jesus' authority that he indeed did rise from the dead. <clears throat> and that's something that I would encourage you to look into to find out if these witnesses were indeed telling the truth. Now one thing that's kind of interesting about this death thing, like if, if I die and, and this material, you start reading it later or uh, whatever, it's like, gosh, you're going to really listen to this guy because he's died. It's like some kind of great accomplishment now he's willing to listen to. You know, these there's a states of after people die, they're just enormous. They even rank them. But what if I arose from the dead? Then I'd really be worth listening to. Well, friends, that's the whole point of who Jesus is and why we should listen to him. Praise God, Jesus rose from the dead. That gives me hope. There's no other hope. There's no other point. There's nothing else. He's got the answers I need to know. Where else need I go? That's it. Lord bless you. See you next time.